Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will explore the import list. This is where you can customize a product listing before pushing it to your store. At this point, you've already added one or more products to your import list. Great! Every listing is divided in four tabs, product, description, variant, and images. Let's go over each of them, shall we? First, the Product tab allows you to update the product name, add or remove any product tags, add or update the category, and add to one or more collections on your store. Remember that you can only push it to an existing collection on your store. If you want a different collection, simply create a new one on your store and it will automatically show up on the list. You can also hover over any of the info icons to learn more about each of these fields. Next up is the Description tab. Product descriptions are a key differentiator. While every Spocket listing comes with a description, it is highly recommended that you optimize the description in a way that might resonate with your audience. Next is the Variants tab. This is a tabular representation of all variants for a product. Each variant has a unique SKU, real-time inventory, product cost, shipping cost, sales price, and compare at price. Some products have additional attributes such as variant images, variant names, etc., but that varies from product to product. You can either manually change the sales price for every variant or use the Edit drop-down to bulk update the sales price for all variants of a product. You can also find country-specific shipping costs by clicking on this little drop-down in the shipping column. Finally, you can easily select or unselect any variants that you may or may not want to sell in your store. Easy! Lastly, the Images tab. This is where you can select or unselect any images, as well as add alt text for each to improve your store's SEO. Once you're ready to push a product listing to your store, just click on Push to Store, or better yet, edit and bulk push multiple listings at once using this button. Let me point out a couple of other things before we wrap up. You can use the search bar to find any product by its title. You can also use filters to find products by a particular supplier or products that ship from a specific country. The Remove All button allows you to empty out your import list so you can start from scratch. Every product listing has a Remove Product and Save button right at the bottom. Don't forget to save after you make any changes to a product listing. Finally, every product listing has labels such as Premium, AliExpress, or Low Stock, so you can easily spot these key pieces of information. Once you have pushed one or more products, they will show up in your Products page. You can check them out by clicking on Products right under the Import List button on the left navigation panel. In the next video, we'll take a look at processing and managing your orders. See you there!